let's solve this question what he is asking consider the following statements and the statement one is given to you if l1 union l2 is regular then both l1 and l2 must be regular so let's see whether this statement is true or false so this statement is actually false he is saying that so l1 union l2 this is regular so this is given to you regular now he is saying that l1 l2 both must be regular so this is actually not true why because you can take any non regular language let's take any non regular language so for example take non regular language l this this is non regular language any any non regular language you can take okay now so you know that uh, if this l is non regular you also know that l complement is also non regular so if l is non regular then l complement is also non regular because set of uh, regular languages are closed under complementation operation so you can see that if this l complement is regular then l also will be regular so that is the reason why you can say that uh, non regular languages are closed under complementation operation what it means it means if l is non regular then l complement will also become non regular now you can very easily see what is l union l complement l union l complement is sigma star and this sigma star is regular language this sigma star is regular language okay so that's why you can say that even though this even though this l union l complement even though this is regular okay even though this is regular but you can see l is non regular l bar is also non regular so that is the reason you can say that this statement is false okay so actually uh, if you if you if this statement is like this let's assume this statement is like this that l1 un, l1 comma l2 let's assume both are given to you regular l1 is regular l2 is regular now let's assume that this is given to you that l1 and l2 is regular now you can say that l1 union l2 will be regular because regular languages are closed under union operation what it means it means if you have two regular languages then their union will also be regular language so that is the point anyway this statement one is false now let's see the statement two what is this statement two says A statement two says the class of regular languages is closed under infinite union. This this statement is false. Okay, if but remember the class of regular languages they are closed under union operation. What it means? It means if you have two regular languages, let's assume L one comma L two, and both are both are regular languages. Both are actually regular languages. Now in that case, L one union L two will definitely be regular. This will definitely be regular. so you can say that class of regular languages are closed under union operation okay but class of regular languages are not closed under infinite union how can you prove it very easily you can prove it see take any non regular language take any non regular language for example consider this a power n b power n where n is greater than equal to 1 consider this language now this language we know that this a power n b power n this is a well known non regular language this is dcfl but not regular so for this language what you can what you can do in this language you have these type of strings okay for example ab is there for example a square b square is there for example a cube b cube is there and so on so this is your language l now you can see that now what i am going to do i am going to take a language l1 and this language l1 is only this string so this l1 is ab you can see because in this l1 only one string is there that is ab i am going to take l2 and that i am going to take a a square b square basically i am going to take lk and this lk is going to contain only one string that is l power k Uh, sorry a power k b power k so this is how i am going to take languages l1 l2 l3 l4 l5 and so on so this basically this k is greater than or equal to 1 you can see in this lk in this lk you have only one string this single string you have so this l1 l2 similarly this lk every lk k greater than equal to 1 every lk is regular why because every lk is finite this language is finite inside this language only one string is there every finite language is regular so that is why this this lk every lk for k greater than equal to 1 this is also regular now what you do you take union you take union of all lk okay 
for k greater than equal to 1 you take the union you can see what i am doing i am doing this l1 union l2 basically i am doing this l1 union l2 union l3 union l4 and so on so this is an infinite union of regular languages you can see first of all this is infinite union because here number of languages are infinite but each language is regular because each language is finite every finite language is regular so each language is regular now what you can see you can see that this is regular this is regular this is regular this is regular every every language is regular and this infinite union what is this infinite union this is a power n b power n n greater than equal to 1 but you can see this infinite union is not regular this is not regular so what you can say you can say that re, the class of regular languages are not closed under infinite union because you can see each of these languages l1 union l1 l2 l3 l4 and so on each of these languages each language is regular but their infinite union is not regular so that's why the set of regular languages are not closed under infinite union so that is the point actually now here you can see few things actually no class of languages is closed under infinite union what i uh, what i mean for example if you take class of cfl set of all cfl they are also not closed under infinite union so under this infinite union under this operation infinite union so this is your operation under this operation you can see class of regular languages means regular set set of regular languages this regular set or you can take cfl set or you can take dcfl set okay or you can take a recursive set or, or you you can take any basically you can take re set set of re languages you can also take set of non-regular languages set of non-regular so non-regular set means set of non-regular languages or you can take set of not re not re languages are not re set means set of not re language you can basically take any set okay you can basically take any class of any standard any standard class of languages you can take you can see okay all these classes okay you whatever class you take they are not closed under infinite union what it means the regular set means set of regular languages they are not closed under infinite union set of cfl they are not closed under infinite union set of dcfl they are not closed under infinite union set of re set of recursive set of csl set of re set you can see uh, similarly you can see this set of non regular languages they are also not closed under infinite union set of not re languages set of not re languages this is also not closed under infinite union so in under this infinite union you can see uh, these standard all these standard uh, set of languages they are not closed you can see for example let's see the proof of this once we see the proof of this automatically you can uh, you can conclude you you can make the proof of other things so let's see this that set of not re languages are let's okay let, we are going to see this set of not re set of not re languages set of not re languages are so set of not re languages is not closed is not closed under infinite union under infinite union let's see this very easily you can see this so what example you can take consider consider a not re language one thing you know one thing you know that let's assume this is this is the set of recursive languages this is the set of recursive this is the set of recursive languages and this is the set of re languages one thing we know that and this this outer area this complete outer area this outer area is set of not re languages one thing we know that if a language l is here means if if, if this language l is basically not re then complement of l either will be not re the complement of l either will be not re or 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 complement of l will be re but not rec so either basically if l is not re then either l complement will be not re or this l complement can be re but not rec so this we already know now what we do to prove this uh, okay basically uh, sorry set of uh, yeah to prove this what we are going to do we are going to take a not re language whose complement is also not re for example take a not re language this l is not re such not re language you take such not re language you take for which l complement is also not re so r uh, this l and l complement both are not re languages 
now what you do you do the now you do the union and union l complement union now you can take all the notary languages does not matter you can take any notary language for example l1 union l2 union l3 and so on here you can see l is notary l complement is also notary and all these languages l1 union l l1 l2 l3 lk all these languages are also notary so what i am doing i am doing the infinite union of not are languages each language is not are each language is not are but their union will be sigma star why the union is sigma star because l union l complement this itself will give me sigma star and sigma star union any language that will be sigma star so you can see that even though each language is not are l is not are l complement is not are l1 is not are l2 is not are even though each language is not are their union is sigma star and sigma star is are sigma star is actually regular every regular language is re language so you can see that the infinite union of not re languages is 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 re so that's why you can say set of not re languages is not closed under infinite union so this is uh, very easily you can uh, you can say you can prove this okay so this is the this is the question and for this question what we can say that this statement 2 is also false the class of regular languages is closed under infinite union this is also false and the statement 1 is also false so he is asking which of them is true so the answer will be option d neither 1 nor 2 okay